Hi everyone, it's Jira from Plant Corner, and today is our watering day, but our staff is out, so I will be watering these 500 plus plus plants by myself. So I wanted to film a quick video to show you how I would do it, some tips and tricks that I use to save time when I have a lot of plants that I have to care about. So I hope you find this video helpful, and I'll see you in a bit. Before we start, let's look at three different ways to water. Bottom watering, pour through, and a little sip. Bottom watering is when you have a container filled with water, and then you stick your plant in there in order for the plant to completely soak up the water, and the soil can be completely saturated. I use this a lot when the soil is not holding on to much water, or if the plant is a really thirsty type of plant, like ferns. The second method is pour through and that means we are just going to water the plant's um, uh, entire surface until the water runs out of the bottom. And I use this method a lot when the plant uh, substrate is quite chunky, that way it can completely saturate everything. Lastly, I usually give some plants just a little sip of water, especially if they are not completely dry or if the root system is quite short, I don't want to oversaturate the soil. I also use this method to water the plants that are in a pot without a drainage hole. That way I know not to overwater the plant. Of course, before we begin, I'm gonna play my favorite music so that I can enjoy this watering experience to the fullest. I start off with my carnivorous plants, so right now I'm using rainwater fill up and then I just go ahead and water all my carnivorous plants. Make sure that I leave some water in the reservoir because these guys cannot dry out at all. And then I go ahead and water all the moss poles in the store. Uh, for the moss pole, I use a small plastic cup and I drill a couple holes on the bottom so that the water can slowly drip into the moss. And then I move on to my plant wall and I use the moisture meter to check the substrate moisture level before I decide which one to water. I shake multiple at once and then remember which one is dry so I could water. Because this plant wall is built using volley grow and volley grow does not have drainage hole, I make sure to check the moisture level before I water every time. And then I usually go ahead and start watering everything that needs ladder. Um, here you can see that I lift the pot a little bit just to feel how heavy it is. And if the pot is still heavy, then I would just skip the watering. Some of the pots, I also use clear pots. That way I can tell right away if the substrate is moist or is it dry. Another thing I also do while watering is I also check for pest. Um, any type of infection, fungal infection, bacterial infection, uh, dead leaves, and if there's any type of rot while watering. So within the five seconds that I was looking at a plant, I have to make sure to see, okay, if this plant needs water, if there's any dead leaves or if there's any type of deformation on their leaves that can indicate pest or infection. After I'm done with all the plants that need ladder, I usually go ahead and bottom water some of the plants I know are thirsty. I know um, that their soil might not hold as much water because their soil are on the older side. So I would bottom water some of those plants while also taking care of the rest. When it comes to the shelf, I have some plants that sit in the bin underneath the shelf. So when I water the plants, that are on the shelf, I could use the runoff water to water the plants in the bin. And as you can see here, I usually feel the weight, how heavy the pot is before I decide what type of watering I should give them. If I should give them just a sip or if I should give them a thorough watering. I also squeeze the pot to feel how crispy the soil is. If the soil is on the crispy side instead of a soft, um, rich side, then I would give them a lot more water. 
And while I water the plants, I also make sure to organize the shelf that way it looks neat and tidy after I'm done. If your plant is not in a plastic pot and it's hard to tell just by lifting whether the soil is dry or not, I usually ask myself if the soil looks dry and feel dry before I water. So you can observe the soil. If the color of the soil is dark, then the soil is still wet. So you can probably leave that plant be for a while. Um, if the color of the soil is lighter, then you might want to check um, not just look dry, but it also has to feel slightly dry before you water. In order to test if the soil is dry, you can't just touch the top of the soil, but make sure to actually stick your finger in deep or use a moisture meter if the pot is deeper than 5 or 6 inch. While I water the rest of the store, I would also come back and check on the plant that I've been wa bottom watering. Uh, I would squeeze out a little bit of the excess water just to make sure that the soil is not oversaturated and then replace the plant in the bin with the new plants that needs to be bottom watered. Next, I have some plants I know for sure that love moisture like Fitonia. Um, I have them all together in one tray. That way I could go ahead and just splash water all over them and make sure that all of them are completely moist. For plants that are in moss, you can also feel the top of the pot. If it's crispy, that means it needs water. And usually for moss, I stick them, completely soak them because dry moss can repel water so I would just soak them in water and then squeeze any excess water before I put them back. So that's the gist of how I would go ahead and water my plants at the store. I would start from the back and slowly circle through the front and while I'm watering plants on the shelf I would also bottom water some plants at the same time. And that's it guys! This is our watering process for one week and the best part is we get to do it all over again next week. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!